In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Timothy Adon, composer by day, gamer by night. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Uh, let's see what we got here. I think I talked about every all of the buildings before. We don't really have access to a lot, however. I already did that. However, I am going to upgrade this because we want more choices in heroes and we want more heroes in our roster Word is traveling. eventually. Ambition is stirring in distant cities. We can use this. All right, can't do that, can't do that. Can't do either of those. All right, so all we have are these four heroes and I believe because I started up another game, this is always, like you always start with these two, the Crusader, uh, Reynold and the Highwayman Dismiss. And your first two heroes after that are always some sort of priest and some sort of alchemist. So let's just look at them really quick. Uh, one thing that you really want to try and do is uh, weed out the, the obnoxious people. Obsessed with cleanliness. We'll never drink. That's fine. Plus five accuracy to ranged skills, which is great with judgment actually great with a lot of these skills I haven't used these very much cool all right and then you minus 10% bleed resist minus 3% crit to ranged skills and minus 20% stress damage in the ruins, which is good because that's where we're going to be going in a second. Plague grenade, battlefield medicine, that's going to be useful. And that's my bird in the background, just so you know. And then I didn't look at you guys. You will only pray. So things like this, this is kind of obnoxious because the, uh, the caretaker will occupy some of the slots at either the abbey or the tavern and if he ever occupies something that some that one of your party members needs to go to for stress relief it gets so annoying good god prone to stealing items plus 10 percent damage if torch is above 75 and you're not allowed to gamble but plus 20 percent chance scouting in the cove which we are not doing Peachy. <laughs> She's just being obnoxious. Uh, plus 15% stun resist. Plus 2 speed. Goot. Okay. So nothing else we can really do here right now. <clears throat> go to Embark. Go into the ruins. We could go to the Darkest Dungeon. But I'm not gonna. Because that's just... That's... No. Just don't. Don't. Uh, Alright. So we have to pick the marching order. So generally, you want to see what abilities everybody's using. Like, the Crusader needs to be in the first or second position, because that's all of his abilities. Uh, dismiss. 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, any, and 1, 2, 3. So he's fine being in the second or third slot. One, two, three, three, four, three, four. Two, three, four. So yeah, this is generally the lineup. <laughs> All right, this is what we're gonna get for stuff, and it's gonna be a short adventure, so no camping, and we just need to explore ninety percent of the rooms. Go. <clears throat> the cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. All right, so. Uh, certain characters that you bring with you will bring, uh, will already bring some of these things. So, like, the Crusader, I believe, brings holy water, and the, uh, Alchemist brings anti-venom. Uh, you need to make sure you bring food. Each person, like, if, uh, there's a certain event that comes up that'll make, that'll make you need to eat food, and you need one food per person, give or take some, depending on, uh, quirks. So, I want at least two sets of food two shovels there does tend to be a lot of bleeding in the ruins and then 
five torches. Yes. And then when you come back, any of this that is left over, you get a very tiny percentage of it back. I think it's like you're paying 75 gold per ration and you get five back per ration that you bring back. So at least you're getting something. All right. So now we're here. This is the map of the of the dungeon. We have to explore 90% of rooms. So I think that means we can skip one room. So we'll skip this one. Found a torch. Alright. Oh, so you'll see there's a light meter up here. The higher it is, actually you can see right there, the higher it is the better chance you have of scouting and the better chance you have of surprising monsters you find. The lower the light, the more chance your party has of being surprised, but the better loot you tend to find. For reasons. <clears throat> kind of a reward for playing on hard mode if you're playing a dark run. That's what they call it. Bam! Nice. Maintain the offensive. Ooh, nice. And Bam. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Alright, so this let's have you open it. Unlocked strong box. Some of those tend to be trapped, so you got to be careful who you're using. All right, no scouting. Move on. And this right here is why you bring shovels. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. If you don't have shovels, you can do it by hand, but it lowers your torch a lot, does a lot of damage, and increases your sanity. It's just the worst. We want to get rid of this person. Oh, uh, or not. We want to get rid of this person. There we go. Mm. Oh, well. Actually... That being the case, let's just go ahead and do this. Blight for four damage a turn. Okay. There you go. Cuts on its own. Ah, and that's why you want to get rid of get rid of these uh, these acolytes. They just they just sit there and stress you out. Telling you about their parents, making you hate everything. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. The slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving. All right. Light is fading. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, boop and boop. Got scouting. Uh, ooh. Uh, that's a special thing, but I think I want treasure more. As long as the treasure doesn't come and bite me in the butt. Oh, oh god. So he's a klepto, so he has to steal things, and then he just takes it for himself, so I don't even get to keep it. Right? Is that what you? Yeah, you're a kleptomaniac. 
So that's a like percentage chance every time you walk by potential loot, and they'll just take it. They'll take it all. Because they're jerks. Uh, let's do grip shot. Yeah, that's what I said, Peachy. Grape shot. Uh, stop stressing me out. Uh, 12 hit points left. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, crap. Oh, God. And yeah, crits against you will increase everybody's stress. Uh, I don't need to heal him yet. But I'm not going to do a whole lot of damage either. So we'll just go ahead and fix that. Please. Maybe I want to put you in a third slot next time. <laughs> As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Nice. All right, let's. Ooh, four to seven. It's not quite enough. Oh, stop him from bleeding. Oh, <laughs> dang it! Well, okay, that's actually not bad. Uh, he can still do all of his skills. The Crusader can still do all of his skills. It's just obnoxious is all. Try and get rid of this guy. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. That way he doesn't get to act. And then we can just focus on this stupid person. See, two, three, four, three, four, one, two, three. So you wouldn't be able to use incision. I suppose that's acceptable. We'll move you back here. How about you. Yeah, you need to stay in the middle. <clears throat> Ooh, tons of gold. Uh, <laughs> um, so traps, um, basically there's nothing you can do about them unless you successfully scout, and then any traps that are located within your scouting range, uh, you can try and disarm, but if you don't see them during your scout, then you're just kind of boned. And that's the rest of my torches. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. See? Like there's a trap right there. Oh, and I found the rest of the rooms. Cool. Don't- Oh my god! <laughs> Don't steal my stuff! Oh, I need the deeds and the- Oh, you bastard. I might need to remove- Cle I might need to remove Kleptomaniac from him. And that's why you bring food. <sighs> the worst. Alright, so it's going to be a little dark. Uh, more stress damage. More monster accuracy and damage. More potential for heroes to be surprised. Bonus loot and bonus player crits. Uh, all right, play grenade.
Okay, this is painful. Uh, so what does this do? Accuracy. Minus 50 damage. Target has minus 20 dodge and torch plus 5. Okay, not necessary. Uh, let's shoot you. Shoot you. So those guys do a lot of damage. He'll die to the blight. You will almost die to the blight. So let's just make it more guaranteed. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. your stun resist? 25%? I'm not gonna let you go. Uh, can't hit you with the pistol shot. Yes, open vein's the best thing. Obviously, for very obvious reasons. Skeletons are immune to bleed. <laughs> Noxious Blast. What's your dodge? Zero. Okay, so... Ooh! Masterfully executed. Absolutely kick his butt. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. And we'll just open this up. There we go. Complete. And these are all the rewards we got. So we got the three three grand from the quest plus another almost six grand from all the stuff I was carrying and then all the crests and busts that I'm going to use to upgrade my town the two newbies grew a level and he became thin blooded huzzah Trouble yourself not with the cost of this crusade. Its noble end affords you broad tolerance in your choice. So the tavern's unlocked, the abbey's unlocked, so now I can start de-stressifying my people. I'm not sure I she really needs some so, some a good time. Uh but she's also my only healer. But we'll see what happens. Oh, and I've got another in the in the stagecoach. Uh, you just don't want to be in the cove, but you just take less stress damage, period. You are actually very good. You've got the heal, both of the heal spells. All three of the heal spells. All right, so there we go. There's that. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. Obsessed with food? Don't know what that's going to do for me. Plus 20 scouting chance in the ruins, you're going to be great. And plus 10% damage of torches below 26. That probably won't happen often. But it means I can go to the ruins and... You will be laughing still at the end. Uh, I can go to the ruins and have a really high scout chance, which is good. And you are also a ruins explorer. Holy cow, I think I'm just going to go to the ruins for a while. The thrill of the hunt. The promise of payment. Ludomania. Oh, and then of course, after that first one, you're practically guaranteed to have some of your 
negative quirks become slightly more permanent. Uh, it's not permanent, but it makes it really expensive to get rid of. And not, like, definitely not a possibility early game. Okay. The cobwebs have been dusted. The fuse set straight. So see. The Abbey calls to the faithful. The caretaker currently sitting in the penance hall, taking up the only available slot right now. I can eventually get more slots, but I don't have the resources for it. Um, we're going to have you go here. Since we're doing that, uh, we're going to increase stress recovery. Could make it cheaper. Yeah, we'll make it cheaper. Gilded icons and dogmatic rituals. For some, a tonic against the bloodshed. But of course, she's in the prayer spot, which means that he won't be able to do anything for stress relief because he can only pray. But that's fine because his stress is a little bit on the low side, so he should be fine. Um, let's go here. Fresh kegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken we'll alike. Up this and up that, and we'll throw him at the bar for eight fifty, and he'll be fine. What do you have for skills? Dirk's dad, Finale. Finale is hilarious. It's like the ultimate soloist. Um, unfortunately, I can't buy any more skills for him yet because the guild isn't available. So I think we might do go ahead and do one more mission before I stop here. Um, first only, second, third, any, third, fourth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you in the second spot, you in the third spot, you in the first spot. And that's important because his finale can only be used in the first spot, but it pushes him back to the rear. And that's good because it means that he opens up with a really powerful attack and then he gets thrown in the rear where most people aren't going to hit him. Oh... I really want to take Dismiss, but I think we'll leave him for now. Any, one, two, three, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, so the third spot is beneficial. And we'll put you in the last spot. You won't get to use Illumination, but everything else will be fine. Oh, and I have one item. Plus four dodge, minus one speed. Your dodge is 15 with a high speed. I want your speed to stay high. Your dodge is non-existent. Let's give that to you. Provision. Oh. I didn't see how long this was. Oh, it's obviously medium, because if it wasn't, or it's obviously short, because if it was medium, I'd have a log in here. And we'll do that. So I've got holy water and medicinal herbs. Take one more torch. So now I've got two people that scout in the ruins, so that should mean that with a full torch I should be able to get the scout off every time. Except for the first, because I don't think that counts. So uh, right here. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? Oh right, I need to give these guys names. Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. No klepto, go home. Oh. Oh, no scout? What? Ah, oh, you jerks. Oh well. Doesn't mean it's guaranteed, just means it's really likely. What do I need to do? 100% of room battles? So 
go over here. I need to rename my my people. I have a mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. Um, I have a set of names I want to use based on uh, some role playing games I played in before. Uh, who's best to? No, you know what? I'm not touching it. This one though. Confession booth, holy water. Yeah. Oh. Well, had I known that that would have happened, I would have done it on somebody else. Dang it! Oh well, next time. Surprise! And this is why we do this. Oh, you can hit... Oh, right. Um... I love that ability. It's it's hilarious to me. Um, ooh, flashbang. So you know who I hate the most? These stupid fusiliers. All right, let's. Let's just go ahead and get you out of the way. You're already almost there. She was done resist 50. No. Oh god. Didn't realize you could hit that far. Ah. Uh. This is why I hate the Fusilier. Blanket fire is the worst. All oh, right, and then what we're gonna do is just play a little tune. Do some stress heals. Um. Party heal. Dang it. Oh, okay, fine. Um, going to give you protection. I don't want to waste an attack on this guy for one point. Oh, now there's bleed on everybody. Good. That's, that's good. It's acceptable. Does that move you forward one? Yeah. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. One damage for... No, I'm not going to use the bandage. I will do a party heal, though. Ah! <laughs> in a single strike. Ow. Oh, and I need to get rid of him. Freaking hate him. Let's flashbang you again. Oh, good. Best spot. Okay, you are gonna bandage. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Alright. Distress you. You are at one damage for one more round, so that's fine. Uh, you can mark for death? No, we'll flashbang you. <laughs> uh, we'll have you do a... Heal on him. Sweet. Cool. 
So what's cool about the Jester is uh, he's kind of like the bard of the group. He's got some crazy sneaky power skills, but then he just sits in the back and plays music, and it's super helpful. Like, super helpful. Continually onslaught. There we go. Them all. More food, another shovel, a couple other things. Let's move you back up front. Oh god, I didn't get the scout off at any point. That's the worst. Decorative urn. Yay! Eldritch Slayer's ring. Oh, oh my god. Oh well. Um Ow. It's rather painful. Uh, you. Five to ten. You can do it. I believe in you. Five to ten. Eighty-five. Eighty-five. Okay. Precious there we go. Advantage. Give them no quarter. <sighs> Damn it. Um, you can't kill either of these guys. Uh, harvest is not going to do it. It's just hit you a little. Oh, crap. I sh oh, I'm an idiot. Why did I do that? Oh, well. All right. So I'm a dummy. Was not thinking about the fact that now the Crusader is useless. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Their formation is broken. <sighs> yes. Okay. Got a bunch of extra food, so that's useful. All right, nothing here. Still no scouting. I can't believe I didn't get a scout at all. All right, so going down pathways you've already gone uses up a lot less torch, so I don't have to worry about that too much. Okay. Oh god, and you're so much faster than I am. Stress. Um. Good. and kill him. The ground quakes. Nice. Alright. Uh, and then let's heal him. Can kill him. Let's go for somebody that's not stunned. 
No, no, let's just... Uh, let's just go for him. Alright, let's start healing some of this stress up. So, what's what's cool about that, the Jester's uh, de-stress ability is that as long as I have the opportunity to do so and I don't feel like I'm going to die... <sighs> um, I, it'll cheapen the costs of relieving stress later. Get rid of him, please. Thank you. Nice crit heal. Uh, 39, 39. Let's do you first. You want to go on more adventures. Okay, good. He just didn't move, which is acceptable. Let's heal you again. Uh, how many hits do these things have? Oh, well, okay, there we go. I hit a button. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't know. Oh, okay, you're stabbing. Oh, because you're too close. Yay. I'd rather take damage. Stab me all you want. Uh, we'll do that. Stop dodging! <laughs> oh, your dodge is 13. Jesus. Um, lower your own stress. Ha <laughs> so clearly in view or is it merely a trick of the light uh do i dare yes i do the hero inhales foul vapors oh and he got rabies <laughs> uh minus 10 accuracy plus 15 percent damage although the minus 10 accuracy is kind of awful will be missing a lot, but when he hits... <clears throat> oh, I forgot to move the Jester. Okay, good. Oh, sure. Now I get the scout. Stupid. Okay, well, I know where the last fight is. Um, so let's just go ahead and go this way. There's a fight right there. Go ahead and burn the torch. And you know what? I've got all this extra food. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Let's try to get some heals in before the last fight. The finale. You. <laughs> I like that there's clapping in the background when he does that. Creatures can be filled. They can be beaten. Second time's a charm? Nope. Claustrophobia. <laughs> Severe fear of enclosed spaces. Don't know what that's going to do for him. Okay. As the light gains purchase. Spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. 
And so if you know that you're at your last room, food makes for good emergency healing. Oh, and I forgot to move him again. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. you off. <clears throat> Cheer, stun resist 10. So let's get you. And we'll... Duh, harvest is not going to do much. Uh, we'll Dirk Stab. We'll Dirk Stab this. Get it out of the way a little bit. Oh. Ooh, finish him. Finish him! Ah! <laughs> oh! Oh, God. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay, so when they hit zero, they hit Death's Door, and that's essentially dying. If every time they get hit while they're at Death's Door, they get a death save uh, until you heal them. If they fail the death save, they die. If they pass, then they're fine. But I don't want him to make another one, so we're going to heal him. It's too accuracy until end of twist. quest. Uh, okay. Uh, you're at four hit points. All right, Dirk Stab. Uh, let's get rid of this and get that guy closer. Nah, let's just hit you for damage. Ha <laughs> ha, now the big guy's in the back. Let's heal you some more. Jester. I love it. I love that ability. It's hilarious to me. Constitution. A trifling victory. But a victory no, nope, before we go. Who's you're already the most stressed out, so let's go ahead and do this. Sweet. And then we go. Room by room. Hall by hall. Skip we'll this part. What is ours. Hard noggin, stun resist. Minus 5% damage to ranged skills? Oh good, you don't use those. <laughs> Actually, the, the AoE spell might be ranged. You do use, that's cool. Minus 20% stress damage of torch above 75, good. I was lord of this place. Before the crows and rats made it this so the domain. blacksmith is unlocked, and the guild is unlocked. So now I can get better equipment and better skills. But first, let's check this out. What do I got? A leper. Minus four speed on first round, which is good because he's slow as balls anyways. Uh, same thing for dodge, which he doesn't have any. 
Minus 10% stun resist. And then he... Less stress damage in the wailed. And bonus stress heals. Alright, and the leopard tends to be a very hard hitter, tanky this type. This understands that adversity and existence are one and the same. May not meditate, that's fine. Minus 3% crit on ranged skills, whatever. Plus 10% damage on melee skills is kind of okay. And plus 10% death blow resist. So he's harder to kill. It's actually 77% death blow resist. It's really good. What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? And then, uh, the what the heck are you called? Hellion, fear of beasts, and bonus damage in the cove. Barbaric rage and unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. All right, and I think I'm a little bit out of time, so I'll rename my characters off camera and then uh, come back next time. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you later. Bye bye